In this video, I'll walk you through some of the lesser known features in iCloud that can improve your productivity and privacy. I'm sure you know that you can use iCloud to store your photos, but iCloud also keeps your Apple devices in sync and protects your data. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. You can access iCloud via a web browser on any computer or mobile device, but your options may be limited. If you're on an iPhone or iPad to access iCloud on your device, what you'll do is you'll open up the Settings app, tap your name at the top, tap on iCloud, and now here you'll see a listing of uh, your storage, your data, um, the features that are available to you, how you can back up your device. So depending on what type of iCloud you have, I have iCloud Plus, which is a paid for service, but you can see all the different features and different things that you can manage in your iCloud account. To access iCloud via the web browser, you first must enable the feature. So we're gonna open the settings app. I'm already on the iCloud page, but if you just tap your name at the top and then tap on iCloud, you'll come into the iCloud page. Scroll down until you see access iCloud data on the web and make sure that that toggle switch is on. I'm going to swipe out of the settings app and I'm going to tap on Safari. I've already logged in to my account, but this is what you'll see once you've enabled that feature in the settings app. You can access your iCloud account via the web on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac via any web browser. I'm sure you're aware of how to back up your device, but did you know you can choose which apps you want to back up? This can be useful if you're still on the free five gigabit plan and wondering how to save space. You can stop apps like Facebook or Instagram from backing up and eating up your data. Since Facebook and Instagram keep everything on their servers, there's no downside. So let's take a look at how you can do this. I'm going to come into the settings app. I'm on the main settings page. I'll tap on my name. I'll tap on iCloud. I'll come into iCloud backup. And now I'm just going to choose a device. Now here's the key to this. I have to choose the device that I'm on. Otherwise this doesn't work. So I'm on my iPhone. If I choose my iPad, the apps don't show there, but I'm going to tap back up and I'm going to tap on my iPhone, which is the device I'm on. And now it's going to take some time, but it's going to populate all of the apps that are being backed up to my iPhone. Once that happens, I'll explain what we need to do next. Now that all the apps have populated, if we want to disable an app from backing up, it shows the first few apps, but I'm going to go ahead and tap show all apps. And then once I do, I can scroll through and locate the apps that I want to turn off from backing up. So I'll go ahead and I'll toggle off Facebook. I'll scroll down a little further and I'll toggle off Instagram. And so you can go ahead and go through your apps and determine which apps you want to back up to iCloud. I use iCloud to save my contacts, notes, Siri data, calendars, mail, photos, wallet, etc. It's enabled on all of my devices. This lets me make changes on any device and everything is synced via iCloud 
to the rest of my devices. If you want to set this up or check the settings, you'll go ahead and open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad, which I've already done. Tap your name at the top, tap on iCloud, and next to, down here next to iCloud, you're going to tap on Saved to iCloud, see all. So I'm going to tap on that. And then you can scroll through all of these different apps and toggle off the ones that you don't want to sync across all of your devices. As you can see, most of the apps that I'm using, I've chosen to keep the toggle on so that if I make a change on one device, it's synced across all of my devices. iCloud Drive is similar to Google Drive, OneDrive, or Dropbox. You can use it to save files of any kind, including data from apps like WhatsApp. To enable iCloud Drive on the iPhone or iPad, you'll go ahead and open the Settings app on your device, tap your name at the top, go ahead and select iCloud, now tap on Drive. Make sure that the toggle switch is turned on, and once it's enabled, you can access your files across all of your devices using the Files app. So how to do that, let me swipe out of the Settings app. In the App Library, I'm going to tap at the top and search for Files. I'm going to open Files, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on Browse, and then I'll tap on iCloud Drive, and here is where you'll find all of the data that you've saved to iCloud Drive. iCloud allows you to download music, books, and apps. This ensures when you use a different iPhone, iPad, or Mac to purchase new apps or music, they download automatically to your other devices. For this to work, here's what you need to do. So I'm on my iPhone, I'm gonna open up the Settings app, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to tap on apps. And now I'm going to locate the app store. And now I'm going to select under automatic downloads, app downloads. I'm going to toggle that switch on. And now everything will be downloaded to all of my devices as long as this is turned on on each device. Now, if I want to do music, I have to come back to apps, scroll down, and let me tap on M, and that will get me quickly to where I need to be. Tap on music, and then make sure that when you come down to downloads, that you have automatic downloads turned on and you would go back to books and do the same. So on each of your devices, just come into the Settings app and make sure that these toggles are turned on. If you value your online privacy, iCloud Private Relay helps protect your internet activity from being tracked by websites, advertisers, and even your internet service provider. When it's enabled, it hides your IP address and encrypts your internet traffic. If you use public Wi-Fi, this is a must. So here's the key to this though. To use iCloud Private Relay, you need an iCloud Plus subscription. So if you have one, open Settings, go ahead and tap your name at the top, select iCloud, and then tap Turn On Private Relay. So if, here's another key thing, if you start to have issues with your email connection, you may have to disable this feature, but I have not had any issues. So if you have iCloud Plus, give it a try.
If you have multiple Apple devices, you can enable Safari iCloud tabs and sync your history, bookmarks, and reading lists. To do this, you'll open the Settings app. You'll go ahead and tap your name at the top. You'll tap on iCloud. Now tap on See All next to Save to iCloud. And then scroll down until you see Safari and make sure that this toggle switch is turned on so that everything syncs across all of your devices. I hope this walkthrough has helped you discover new ways to make iCloud work for you. Whether you're keeping your devices in sync, managing backups, or enhancing your privacy, these features can simplify your digital life and give you peace of mind. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm happy to help. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.